Welcome WCC fans to Inside the WCC, March Madness Edition. With us today is former Gonzaga standout and current Golden State Warrior, Roni Turioff. Welcome, Roni, to the show. Thank you for having me, man. As a former Zag, you gotta love this time of year. Gonzaga's back in the NCAA tournament for the 11th straight year. Uh, obviously, with the NBA season going on as well, are you gonna have much time to follow the Zags in the in the NCAA tournament? Oh, definitely. Uh, we are playing. Unfortunately, we are playing the Lakers and uh, the Philadelphia Sixers on the on the back to back. So uh, I'm gonna have to check up at halftime and see see what the score is. But I've been checking up on them throughout the whole season, just trying to catch up their games whenever I could. And uh, I'm very happy about uh, the opportunity that they have this year to have uh, to have a chance. Um, Gonzaga, as you know, they're a four seed in the South Regional. They'll face uh, number 13 Akron in the first round on Thursday in Portland. Uh, what do you think about the Zags' first round matchup? I think it's going to be a great game. Uh, they play really tough, hard nosed basketball. Uh, I think we're going to have a, we're going to have to uh, to play really, really good basketball for 40 minutes. And uh, I, I'm really looking forward to uh, to hopefully watch a good game and see some good highlights. Uh, now I gotta ask you: Have you had a chance to fill out a bracket this year? And uh, if so, how far do you have the Zags going this year? Well, I haven't had a chance to fill out a bracket, but I'm gonna have two of them. I'm gonna have one of them where they go all the way, and one of them where maybe they go to the final four or something. Oh, very nice, very nice. Uh, what is it about this Gonzaga team um, that you've noticed that that makes them special? And uh, in the beginning of the season, I think a lot of people had also kind of pegged this team as a potential uh, dark horse for the the Final Four. But um, what have you noticed about this a particular team, um, and what makes them so special? Well, I mean, they're they're really well rounded. Uh, they play with uh, the together. They definitely have a, a starting five that's really, really tough, and they have guys on the bench that come in, that come in uh, be, and being ready to produce. I think it's a, it's a pretty good team right now. They're, they're playing really good basketball as of late, so hopefully they can keep it up. Yeah, definitely. Uh, like I mentioned before, this is Gonzaga's 11th consecutive trip to the NCAA tournament. Um, every year, it seems like the Bulldogs are a fixture in the NCAA tournament. Uh, Gonzaga has really accomplished something special up there in Spokane. Um, how have the Zags been able to sustain their success and remain among the elite programs in the nation? I think you have to applaud the job that the coaching staff uh, have been doing. Not only Coach Few, but also the assistant coach, Leon Rice, Tommy Lloyd, J. Jacoli. And I think all those guys really uh, uh, put in work with the four-year guys that we have. And we have continuity in this program where we just play together for the, for the whole time. And I think uh, when you combine four, four-year guy and team basketball, team chemistry, you only ask for success. Um, obviously, everyone knows that you had open heart surgery in your rookie season. Um, can you talk about the support you received from the Gonzaga community, from the coaching staff to the fans? Oh, I mean, uh, it, 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 it would take it would take me days to uh, to have to be able to talk about it. I mean, uh, it was a wonderful time in my life, even though it was it was a tough time. I mean, to see how many people care about me and how many people wanted me to get better, it was an amazing thing. And I think because of those people and because of all those prayers, it allowed me to get back on the basketball court really, really fast. Uh, as you know, we just wrapped up the WCC tournament in Las Vegas a couple weeks ago. Uh, we saw that you were able to catch the Zags game uh, against Santa Clara. Uh, can you tell us about your experience at the tournament and what did you think of the WCC moving the event to a neutral site? I think it was, uh, it was good. Uh, the tournament in itself was really good. I saw some great performances. John Bryan from Santa Clara had 23 or 27 rebound in a quarterfinal. So, I mean, uh, we, we saw some pretty cool stuff. Austin Day scoring 28 points and Matt Bolden almost having a triple double. So, I think that the WCC is producing a couple of good players. So, uh, that's, that, that's pretty good to see. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Well, thank you, Roni, for joining us today, and obviously good luck to you against the Lakers, and uh, good luck to Gonzaga as well. That does it for this edition of uh, Inside the WCC. WCC fans, log on to WCCSports.com for your latest news, videos, podcasts, and exclusive merchandise.